Slate magazine is online only. Recently, Slate ran a story by a doctor claiming it was impossible for East Liverpool policeman Chris Green to overdose just by touching fentanyl. And it's causing a buzz among medical professionals and law enforcement. 27 First News reporter Molly Reed talked with Officer Green and drug professionals for their take. It's new at 11. Officer Chris Green says his accidental contact with fentanyl was one of the worst experiences of his life. After searching a car where the drug was found all over, he accidentally brushed a small amount off his shirt and overdosed. My head felt like it was in a vice for close to two weeks. Um, I would be standing here talking to you like this and I would just become very dizzy, dis disoriented. Um, to where I'd have to sit down and take a 20 to 30 minute break. But not everyone believes his story. A recent article in Slate magazine says it's nonsense. The writer, Dr. Jeremy Frost, says fentanyl nor car fentanyl can cause effects from skin exposure. He has no clue what happened, no, no clue the, the feelings that I felt, the aches and the pains, the, you know, total loss of control of my body. Frau says skin can absorb even the strongest of opioids fast enough to have that effect. Another toxicologist, Dr. David Yearling from University of Toronto, also said it was impossible in a recent interview with CBC. Green told me today he followed up with his doctors who said it was a drug overdose. He also mentioned uh, this toxicologist that uh, is just so far out there, mentioned maybe it was a pre-existing injury. I'm, I'm pretty fit, pretty physical, healthy, um, everything checked out. Pharmacist Cassandra Slipsky stands by Green's story. You probably don't need to come into contact with hardly any of it for it to have like an overdose effect on you. She says how else would topical patches or gel rubs work without the skin absorbing them? And the patches that we use here in the store um, for you know chronic pain, these people have already had to have been on other opioids in the past. You can't just go from not taking anything to going to fentanyl. I reached out to both of the doctors for comment, but haven't received a response yet. In East Liverpool, Molly Reed, WKBN 27 First News.